And here we are in Altair Inspire Studio 2020. I am on a Mac, so it might look different on your machine. Let's do a little bit of interface tour. All at the top of the screen will find the standard menu for working with files, for copying and pasting, your help, etc. Right below the menu we are given access to the ribbons. The ribbons are tool sets. So we start on the ribbon for sketching. Then we have a ribbon for working with curves. We have a ribbon for NURB surfaces, polynerb objects, which we will zoom in on today, modification tools for NURB surfaces like rounding and subtracting and trimming, deforming objects like twisting and bending. We have some analysis tools for distance and area and volume. For placing dimensions, we can create 2D technical drawings, we can create photo renders, and we have an option to create an animation. But let's go back to the polynerb ribbon. Here we find primitives for polynerbs. And after the vertical dash, we find tools to manipulate them, to refine them. Now let's start out by drawing a polycube. When I draw a polycube, I first need to drag the base face. But it's very important in which orientation this is done. If you look at the le bottom left, you'll see the, ne the Nevi cube. And the Nevi cube shows us which plane is active at that moment. At this moment, the right plane is active. So when I start dragging, you'll see that the orientation is right. But I don't like that. So I cancel it by clicking the red cross, click my middle mouse button and hold. And then I drag so that my view rotates. When I'm looking more from the top, you'll see that the work plane also becomes the top. And this is exactly where I want to be. So I choose the polycube again. I drag the base face. release the mouse and move up and down. I click for the height and here is the object that I created. I can enter some dimensions like give the height 500, the length 800 and the thickness 400. And when I'm done, I either right click and move the mouse to the left or I can click the green check mark over here. And now my object is created. I can still use the middle mouse button to rotate the objects. Press shift to move it, to, to, to pan it. And let's see what we have created. On the left, you'll see the control panel for the polycube we created. And the first option is nerbified and it's checked. So if I uncheck it, this will reveal the underlying polygon model and I can now work with the polygon. But to see the impact of the operations, it's best to leave this checked. If I want to refine my shape, I can add edges because I only now have these edges. I go to the split and then the edge loop tool. This allows me to introduce more slices and thus refining the shape. I move over an edge, I click and hold my mouse button, and then I move the mouse, I drag it to refine my shape. When I'm happy, I release the mouse button and the edge is placed. And I can do this a number of times, I can snap to the center. When I'm done, I click the green check mark. We can almost see a bread toaster being born. These shapes are normally very hard to model using NURB surfaces.